For the third day in a row, North Korea has conducted live-fire drills close to its southern maritime border. Concerns are growing over what has been called the largest escalation in years. Yeonpyeong, a border island that was last attacked by North Korean shelling in 2010, has residents who have been advised to stay indoors due to gunfire heard nearby. And in case the South takes any countermeasures, a text message was issued to all inhabitants stating that there was shooting coming from North Korea at the moment. It said, Yeonpyeong Island troops are responding, but residents are advised to be cautious when engaging in outdoor activities. According to the Yonhap News Agency, no injuries have been reported, and none of Pyongyang's artillery shells have yet to fall south of the Northern Limit Line, NLL, which serves as the de facto maritime border in the Yellow Sea. It comes after despot Kim Jong-un demanded that his nation's military arsenal be increased in front of a conflict that he said could break out at any time and threatened to launch a nuclear assault on the South during year-end discussions. North Korea fired artillery rounds in the same vicinity on Friday and Saturday, close to the islands of Yeonpyeong and Bengyeong, which are very sparsely populated and located just south of a de facto sea border between the two sides. On Friday, amid one of the most significant military escalations on the peninsula since 2010, when shelling claimed four lives, residents of the two islands were told to flee to shelters and ferries were suspended. North Korea's shells landed in a buffer zone established under a 2018 agreement to reduce tensions on both days. However, the agreement collapsed in November following the North's launch of a spy satellite. In response, South Korea conducted its own military drills and released images of its howitzers in action at a base on the island of Bengyeong. The South Korean islands are located off the west coast of the peninsula, about a mile from the de facto maritime border between the two Koreas, and are closer to the north than the southern mainland. On Friday, North Korea maintained that the border islands had not even experienced an indirect effect from its live fire drills that day. Kim's influential sister refuted Seoul's assertions on Sunday that Pyongyang fired dozens of artillery rounds close to their border on Saturday, claiming that they had carried out a deceptive operation. In a statement obtained by the official Korean Central News Agency, Kim Yo-jong declared, Our military did not fire a single shell into the water area. Instead, Kim asserted that her nation's military had observed the reaction of the South Korean army by detonating explosives 60 times to simulate the sound of gunfire. The outcome was exactly what we had anticipated, she stated, going on to say that they mistook the loud noise for gunfire and assumed it was a provocation. Furthermore, they falsely and ostentatiously claimed that the shells fell within the sea buffer zone. The enemy may act foolishly out of pride, mistaking the booming sound in the northern sky for artillery fire from the Korean People's Army in the future, the woman said. Following leader Kim Jong-un's decision to test fire three upgraded intercontinental ballistic missiles and inscribe his nation's status as a nuclear power in the Constitution last year, ties between the two Koreas are at their lowest point in decades.